Welcome to a video tutorial from Valencia Photography Workshops and me, Stephen Power. This one is about a trip to Valencia Island Lighthouse with the Horseman 970 medium format field camera. I've come down to the lighthouse on Valencia Island, County Kerry, a few minutes drive from where I live, to talk about setting up my old Horseman 970 technical camera. There are a few stages involved in getting a photograph from this type of camera and I thought you might be interested in seeing what they are. The very first thing you need to do is find your subject. Walk around, pick the scene you want to photograph and set up the camera accordingly, pointing in the right direction. View cameras, larger format cameras are very heavy and cumbersome and you're going to need a tripod. So if you don't select the scene first, you're going to be exhausted before you come to take the shot. When you've found the scene and you've got the camera set up on the tripod, you then need to frame it properly. To see the image on a ground glass screen, you need to cock the shutter, open the preview lever and make sure that the aperture is set to its widest possible setting. This camera has a pop-up hood which can be used for viewing the ground glass screen. If I want to get a closer look I can move the hood away and look straight onto the ground glass screen perhaps using a magnifying glass or a loop. It's important to bear in mind that the image you will see on the ground glass is upside down and reversed from left to right. This is because the camera doesn't have a prism as you would find in a DSLR or a film single lens reflex camera. So it takes a bit of time to get used to looking at images this way, but it's important that you do so to make sure that they are correctly composed. When viewing the scene on the ground glass screen with the aperture wide open, you have to then focus the image. This is often done using wheels on the front standard of a large format camera, or as in this case on this technical camera, on the flatbed of the camera itself, and there's a wheel on both sides. It's also possible on this camera to use a range finder to focus the image. When the scene is framed and composed and focused, you then need to make an exposure reading, which has to then be set into the shutter and apertures settings on the camera. I use this old Minolta digital light meter, handheld ambient or daylight and flash meter. There are lots of other inexpensive handheld light meters or you can get an app for your phone, or you could even take the reading using a DSLR and set that into the camera. This meter, I'm using the baffle, which takes an incident light reading directly from the source of the light, which is the sun in this case. I could use a reflective reading by taking the baffle off and then pointing that directly at the subject. I'm not going to do that on this occasion because the subject is white and that can affect the exposure reading. I then take that reading that I see on the, the screen there, which is the shutter speed and the aperture that I want to use and dial that in to the camera settings. I start with the aperture that I want to use, in this case f16 and then set the shutter speed that the light meter has given me. Mechanical shutters for some medium and large format cameras have VXM settings. M is for normal manual release, X is for when using the camera with flash, and V is for when using the camera with a timer. This is the third adjustment I will make, and in this case I'm using V for self-timer because the cable release holder on this camera doesn't work with the typical cable release and so I use the self timer instead. The next step is to replace the viewing screen with the film holder or the film back. So on this camera I fold up the viewing screen and push it to the right to remove it and then insert the film holder back 
and lock it in with clips on the top and the bottom. Just before I'm ready to take the shot, I then remove the dark slide, which now will enable the film to be exposed to the light when the shutter is open. And it's important to remember to take this out as I've forgotten to do that on a number of occasions. There's a small chance that the camera might have moved slightly while doing all this, so I often check the focus and the framing again using the viewfinder and sometimes the rangefinder window for the focus. Then I'm finally ready to take the shot by releasing the shutter release catch. In this case, it's on the left hand side of the front of the lens. There's no doubt that this is a slow, laborious, process in which a number of things could go wrong but I really like it because it slows me down and makes me think about every aspect of the photography and I think ultimately makes me a better photographer. Here's a look at the finished image processed in Lightroom. I hope you enjoyed this quick trip to Valencia Island Lighthouse in County Kerry. Please subscribe for more videos from Valencia Photography Workshops.